Now, you might have heard this before, but I've gathered more information on the lawsuit filed by three wrestlers who have sued WB on behalf of all current and former wrestlers who suffered serious brain and other damage as a result of mistreatment by the organization. The names are Big Russ McClaw, Ryan Sakota, and Lufa Reigns. Obviously stage names. The WB has known them for years, but the brutality in the ring has resulted in dementia. Allah's Heimer's disease, and a lot more. The lawsuit claims the WWE, under the guise of providing entertainment, has for decades subjected its wrestlers to extreme physical brutality. The suit acknowledges wrestling is scripted but nonetheless unretellingly brutal, claiming WWE is the business of selling violence. The the suit is um about 49 pages long. The legal docs chronicle various matches in which wrestlers were, de were destroyed. It mentions the 2014 Royal Rumble, and you'd think it was about CM Punk, but it was about Big Show versus Brock Lesnar, in which Brock Lesnar destroyed Big Show with brutal steel chair attacks, and the docs refers to the carnage created by the match's victor. The lawsuit gives an interesting inside look into wrestling, saying the goal of the WWE is to create heat, meaning heightened violence with the use of various props, including chairs, ladders, and tables. The suit angles out various moves, including the Brain Buster, Bulldog, Cobra Clutch Slam, Face Buster, Jawbreaker and Power Slam, it singles out the chair shots to the head, which was banned in 2010. In the suit, it also says, quote, The WWE courses its wrestlers to work while they are injured by, among other methods, threatening to strip them of their position within the organization if they refuse. It says they are universally encouraged to wrestle through the pain. And the lawsuit mentions Chris Benoit who was routinely hit in the head with a chair and was killed and he killed his wife and son along with himself. And he also had those heart attacks too. The doctor concluded Bennett's brain was so damaged from CTE it resembled the brain of an 85 year old Alzheimer's patient. Usu asked for injection prohibiting the WB from subjecting its wrestlers to such brutality. According to the lawyer, though, the guys who are suing WWE are a bunch of nobodies, brainwashed by lawyers to believe they can score a quick buck, at least according to a WWE lawyer. They claim that WWE um, athletes have been suffering brutal and deliberating injuries but it's only interested in making big money. Jerry McDivitt, WB's outside counsel from K&L Gates, tells, tells them that the guys who only wrestled for a short time are being targeted by attorneys who tell them there's hundreds of thousands of dollars they can make by joining a class section suit like this. McDivitt adds, We know these claims are fraudulent, and we will fight them. He claims other wrestlers who've been approached to join the suit think it's a scam. McDevitt believes that the suit spends more time talking about Chris Benoit and other wrestlers than it does the actual plaintiffs. It's sensational, but if you really look at it, what was done specifically to them, McDevitt says, there's... There are almost no details as to what they actually suffered as a result of working with WWE. These guys look fine. Among the details included in the suit, the plaintiffs said, say that they were forced to wrestle even when they suffered injuries like torn ligam ligaments and concussions. McDovitt says no WWE wrestlers were complaining they'd suffered brain damage or damage before the lawyers started contacting them. He says the WB will ultimately prevail. And I think WB will too.
WWE is rich. I think they have good lawyers and everything, and they're ultimately going to win this case. And maybe the lawsuit filed is a little, little ridiculous.